Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Martha. I've missed you guys so, so much. If you are new to this channel, welcome to our little family and to my corner here in the internet. Today I have prepared this video as we have welcome 2016. Today I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about something I think is very, very important. It's very easy for us as humans to get comfortable with a routine, with a schedule, with our everyday lives, and to not challenge ourselves to get out of our comfort zone because our comfort zone is very, very comfortable. So just a few things on why comfort zones are bad. The first one is that you can only grow so much if you limit yourself in your life. So for example, being believers, it's up to us how far we want to go in our relationship with God, how deep we want to go in pursuing God. So if you set a limit to yourself, if you only say, oh, I only want to know you this much or this little, then you're setting a limit for yourself that isn't going to allow you to know God in the deepest way possible. So in our personal relationships with God, it's really important not to set limits. Then those limits hold us back from what everything God has in store for our lives. Over the years, I have personally found that you enjoy life a lot a lot more when you're outside of your comfort zone. You know, many people are really scared of getting into ministry or pursuing uh, what God has put in their hearts to do for one reason or another. And most of those times, those are just excuses. And believe me, those excuses are terrible excuses for not getting your foot in the door for what God has in store for you. And usually when God is calling you to do something, he's going to call you out of a place into a new foreign place that you've never been to. And I understand why that's scary. Believe me, when God was first putting it in my heart to start this YouTube channel, I was really, really scared because I am not someone who expresses myself verbally the best and I'm not the best person at explaining things, as you guys can tell. Um, so I was really scared to sit in front of the camera and talk to you guys. God challenged me in that way and he gets me out of that comfort zone every single time. I believe that this is something that God really, really, really wants me to be doing. It feels amazing when you know God is calling you to do something and you're scared and you're like, I don't know if I can but you just get out of your comfort zone and you start doing it and then you're realizing, I can do this, you know, God is allowing me to do this. Whenever God calls us, he equips us to fulfill whatever he's calling us to do. And finally, and most importantly, when you do decide to get out of your comfort zone, God will take you to places you could have never imagined ever in your life before. So whatever you feel that God is calling you to do this year in 2016, I really encourage you to try it. Just get out of your comfort zone for once. Believe me, you'll thank me later. Whatever God is telling you or putting in your heart, He is going to sustain you throughout that journey. and. Even if sometimes it's very stressful, even if it's challenging, or if it requires you to sacrifice a lot in your life, it will always be better for you. So for 2016, I just encourage all of you guys to get out of your comfort zone, do something new every single day, do something new every single month in this whole entire year, challenge yourself to just be a better person, to serve God, to have a deeper relationship with God, to try new things in your life, in your career, at your church, in your ministry, in your school, whatever it is. And above all, ask God, whatever it is He has in store for you this year, to give you all the tools that you need and to be with you that entire journey. 
And I just want to take a quick second to thank all of you guys who have been supporting me in this journey while I'm getting out of my comfort zone. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate everything that you guys have been doing. Above all, I just want to bring glory to God and to share the word of Jesus. And yeah, thank you so, so, so much. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so below by clicking the little red button. That way you will be notified each time I upload a video. I will be uploading every Tuesday and Friday this month, January 2016 only, just for you guys, just as a thank you for sticking with me. Be sure to be subscribed so that you know exactly when I upload those videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great 2016. Many, many blessings to you. And be sure to get out of your comfort zone. Bye! Be a servant like Mary was. She was so willing. And even though she was scared,